Amazon Renewed is a series I started last year talking about how to get some of the older flagship phones for a really good price using Amazon. And it was really popular and you guys really seemed to like it. So I'm bringing it back this year. And I thought I'd start it off with a phone that you would never think would end up on this series. Now this is a phone I would have probably not purchased because I got the Galaxy Fold 2. I'm just gonna call it that. I know the name's longer, forget about that. And I actually enjoyed it quite a bit, but it was so stupid expensive. And this thing was pretty expensive when it came out. But on Amazon Renewed, you can get this for the price of a pretty inexpensive Amazon Renewed flagship. I mean, you can do this for $600. I'll tell you all about it right after this. This, this is, uh, you know you listening to, to Travis. What up, players? Welcome back. And for all you new people, welcome. My name's Travis, and I do tech videos every single week and have a blast doing them. If that sounds like fun to you, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Anything I talk about will be in the description below. But for now, let's just get into the video. So I wanted to kick off the Amazon Renewed series again uh, with a really interesting phone, the Galaxy Z Fold. Now, there's a couple of things about this phone uh, that I like, and then some things that I don't really like. But of course, if you're new to this series, you probably don't even know what Amazon Renewed is. So let me tell you. Amazon Renewed is a program by Amazon where you can go on and buy older flagship phones for a really good price, at least most of the time. Uh, one of the cool things about it is, this is these are products that are sold by third-party sellers that have a specific guarantee that they look new and their battery capacity is at least 80%. So that means you're getting a phone that's in pretty darn good shape and should function for quite a while. But one of the biggest draws about Amazon Renewed is the fact you have 90 days to return it if for some reason you don't like it, which of course is much longer than it is for pretty much any other way of buying a phone new. I mean, typically if you buy a phone used, you have no kind of return policy. If you buy a phone new, it's usually about 14 days. You get 90 with Amazon Renewed. But here's what's interesting. Since the last time I did one of these Amazon Renewed videos, um, they've actually added something new. Amazon themselves now sell Amazon Renewed phones. Now here's the thing. This was not happening when I started this series. It was just third-party sellers selling older devices that they made sure were of those standards. Now Amazon is doing it, but they're charging more. And you might wonder, why is that? This particular listing is really interesting because not only do you get a better battery capacity, a guaranteed 90% or more, but you have a year to return it. So yeah, you might spend upwards of $100 more per that phone, but you're getting another nine months of return policy. But if you haven't seen any of these other Amazon Renewed videos, you're gonna wanna hit subscribe because here's the thing, I have a ton of them already and more are coming. So this is the time to subscribe, hit that now. Now to be clear, I got this from a third party seller and one of my biggest concerns was gonna be the screen. All the other phones I've ever gotten have looked perfect. They've absolutely been in immaculate shape and this is no different, but I was really concerned about the screen because if you don't know, this screen is not glass. I mean, obviously not glass. I mean, it's not doing that if it's glass, but some of you may have not even picked up this phone. So let's quickly go over the specs and then talk a little bit about the performance of this thing and a couple of other things. The Galaxy Z Flip has a 6.7 inch OLED display with a 12 megapixel wide and ultra wide camera, a 10 megapixel selfie, eight gigs of RAM, 3300 milliamp hour battery, a cover display of 1.1 inches, 256 gigs of storage, reverse wireless charging, and has a Snapdragon 855 plus. Now that last point is interesting because it was slightly better than the 855, which preceded it. The phones that you would get like the S10 and that sort of phone had the 855, this is the plus. But there's not a lot of difference between that and the Z Flip. Now, another thing, there is a 5G variant of this exact same phone that came out only months ago. And the only real difference is, is that it has the 865 uh, with uh, 5G. And that's pretty much it. Like nothing else really about the phone is much different. I mean, you do get 5G, but as I've talked about a billion times before, that's not any reason to ever buy another phone. And it's not $600 like this one was. Now, what I like about this phone is that Unfolded, it's actually a really great phone. An 855 plus processor, this thing just zooms along. It's really fast. The uh, fingerprint sensor's on the side and actually activates very fast, so fast, I had to check it. I mean, it was unlocking stupid fast. I actually thought I didn't have fingerprint sensing on. I had to triple check it. It's that fast. So if you like, fast unlocking, then this is it for you. Now, when this was first announced, it was actually kind of pushed towards social media influencers. This isn't meant to be a flagship really in any way. It was only a flagship in price. Um, and in some ways it doesn't even feel like a real flagship. This is definitely something different. 
Now, the one thing that's not good about it when I compare it to the Galaxy Fold 2 is that all this really is is a party trick. It just makes it smaller so you can fit it in your pockets better, which of course would work for things like purses or tight jeans or something like that. Like that's what this is for. But you don't gain anything really by folding this thing in. With the Fold 2, you're folding it out and getting a much larger screen, much like a tablet. So you get a lot more real estate and can do more things. This just gives you a regular size phone when you unflip it. So for me, this is again, much the same as a party trick. It's neat. A couple of times you'll do it. You may even whip that thing open because you want to think back to uh, the early 2000s when you would have a flip phone. Um, but really, it's not really gaining you anything. Now, there's a flex mode in this, much like there was in the Fold 2. And the Fold 2's flex mode is actually really cool. You can do some really cool things with it. But there's like one thing you can do with the uh, flex mode on this thing, which is basically the camera app. Actually, instead of me explaining this, let me have my friend Michael Fisher explain it in one of his recent videos about this very phone. That you can split YouTube, camera, gallery, or duo across top and bottom halves, but six months later, YouTube, camera, gallery, and duo are still the only apps that you can so split. So yeah, this folding thing really is just more about making it smaller and putting it in your pocket more than adding extra functionality like the Fold does. And I think that's probably why they weren't really aiming this at people that are like heavy into tech. Although Michael Fisher and Austin Evans really love this phone. And I kind of see why it's fast, it works great, and it is easier to put in your pocket and extended. It's got a great size screen, but basically it's just a phone at that point where at least the Fold 2 is something different. One of the coolest things about the Fold 2 is that it actually gave you extra functionality and this thing just really doesn't have it. It's just kind of a novelty. And again, you might be into that. And I do find myself kind of fidgeting with it, I guess. I don't know that that's a good thing or not, but it is a good phone and I do enjoy it. Now, while this thing launched at about $1,400, the camera system really didn't feel like a $1,400 camera system. I just needed to be good enough for social media, but that's not good enough for me. If I'm spending all of that money, it doesn't make sense. Like. These images look fine, I guess, but they're not like of the level of a phone that would normally cost $1,400 at all. And another complaint for me is the fact this thing is slippery as hell. Like I don't, I would never have this outside without a case. And again, my man, Michael Fisher actually talked about this and showed this in his own video. It's kind of crazy. The thing looks like it's moving on its own, but it totally isn't. And this totally happened to me. Also, while it's cool to watch videos on this thing because the screen is pretty awesome uh, folded out like this, uh, it's mono sound, and it's not something that I ever really thought about uh, really being a problem, but as you're watching something and only having sound coming out of one side, you're, it kind of throws you off, especially when you get used to something like an iPhone or a Galaxy phone that has stereo sound and you, you're kind of filled by the sound and this is only coming out of one side. Again, $1,400, I'm like, what? what are we doing here? And of course, this outside display is darn near pointless. I don't get it. Like it shows a little bit of um, some notifications, but as Michael Fisher talks about here, it's, it's still not great. Take the tiny cover display. I knew it was never gonna get bigger, but I thought software updates might at least temper its annoyances. It still times out before letting me read a whole text message. I still can't customize it in any way. And it still doesn't tell me my signal strength, which for me is just as important as a battery meter. Now you might be wondering why are you using so much of Mr. Mobile's content? I actually asked him about this and if I could use it, he said it was okay but because he makes a lot of great points in this uh, video. But now that it's on Amazon Renewed and it's a lot less expensive than when it launched, to me, that makes this a much more interesting phone. Now, depending on how much you get this for, $500 to $600 is a great price for this type of phone. It's fast, it's getting still all the updates, it's been upgraded to uh, One UI 3, it's got really, it's just super fast. There's really nothing I've tried on this thing that doesn't work. And while I've kind of complained the fact that there's not a lot of functionality to the Fold, it is super pocketable. But again, I think it's more about who this is for. And someone who's into social media a lot or kind of, I don't know, clout or something, I guess, they can walk into a restaurant and unflip their phone and make it look cool. You can flex on the gram with it, I guess. Um, it's for those type of people. And really, if you're just curious about foldables, at you know, the price that you can get it on Amazon Renewed, I actually would say that yes, of all the Android phones I've done recently, this is the most compelling for this price range. Now the next version of this will be coming out real soon and I'm sure that it'll be excellent and even maybe uh, address some of the issues that I have with this thing. But I will say that as a phone for this price range, I might actually put this at the top of my Amazon Renewed Android phones that I would recommend because the price point is right for this. 
it's interesting technology. It is really a very good phone. And even some of the shortcomings I've talked about, most of them can be overcome. You know, Bluetooth headphones for the mono, put a case on it so it doesn't slide around. Um, and it's just really super awesome to be able to show someone something they probably haven't seen in a couple of decades. Here's the thing. If you can get something like an S21 series of phone on Amazon renewed by the time you see this video and it's around the same price, you probably go for that because it's more practical. But if you want something neat and different, this might be the phone for you. And by the way, like whose phone can do this? That's, that's, that's pretty cool. I mean, I don't know, that's pretty cool to me. But what do you think? Are you gonna pick up the Z Flip? I mean, I think it's a great value for the price right now and it'll probably continue to go downwards. For me, I would pick it up just because it's an interesting phone. But let me know what you think in the comments below. And by the way, Amazon Renewed here. We're back, baby, we're doing it big. Peace and love.